what's up you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Tosh if you are new here hello welcome to a whole nother world no but for real I'm just a girl in a small town who is completely and utterly obsessed with makeup skincare hair care so we would love to have you a part of this little family that we have going on here and yeah you can always uh expect a good time here i like to laugh joke around kind of goofy and uh yeah we are all obsessed with coffee so without further ado guys you have seen the title of the video i just want to say that i am gonna have to split this up into three episodes just this time in this series because there were so many products that I thoroughly enjoyed and liked and I'm obsessed with now that I don't want to keep you guys here for like two days unless unless you want to be here for two days like I'm cool with that because I could go on and on and on and on about some makeup that just reminded me of Clueless rolling with the homies <laughs> If I can figure it out, I'm going to insert a clip there. But anyways, so we're going to dig into this basket here of goodies, of stuff that I have been using um, throughout the entire month of January and I'm now obsessed with. So if you guys want to grab your coffee, grab a snack, and we will go ahead and get into the video. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is these Wet n Wild Hit the Shower makeup and... They're face and body cleansing wipes. Now, I can actually smell these through the package. These smell so freaking good. They're kind of like um, this really clean, fresh scent with a hint of mint. And as you are cleansing your face with these um, and other areas of your body, you can actually feel like a minty tingle feeling that just feels so clean and so refreshing. Now, if you are taking these uh, to travel or hit the gym, I do not recommend that you use these anywhere where you may regret it later. And the only reason that I say that is, is because I use these on my face quite a bit when I was taking my makeup off for the day and the tingling sensation that I had on my skin kind of makes me feel like maybe these are not safe for anywhere below the belt, ladies and gents. So that's just my recommendation. Um, you do get 25 wipes in a pack. They are super big. If you guys saw my Wet n Wild, um, the pump collection video, I believe it was, I saw you guys or showed you guys how big these were. They're pretty big, so you're going to get quite a bit of use out of them. And again, they just smell really refreshing and minty. I believe these retail for about $9. I think it's worth it. I love them. I'm going to continue to buy these. So yeah, if you have not checked these out, definitely check them out. The next two items are also from the Wet n Wild Pump Collection. And one is the Refreshing Face and the body mist this is a cooling mist it is really really good it also kind of has that sort of minty refreshing kind of a fragrance um i don't use this as a body refresher i use this to set my makeup refresh my makeup i use it before my makeup it is really really good and i believe this one retails for $7.99 i'm gonna stop quoting prices and what i'll do is in the description box i will leave the prices for all of these items down there for you the other one is it's my cheat day this is a hair refreshing mist I really like this it's just a very kind of a clean scent that you can just kind of spritz your hair with um, in between wash days going to the gym if you're traveling and you just get off the airplane and your hair kind of feels to me it just kind of feels gross like when I get off of an airplane so this is definitely something that I would keep in my carry-on bag and as soon as I hit that door of the plane I'm just gonna start you know refreshing it just again has a really clean scent so yeah I mean if you are looking for something for the gym traveling whatever maybe even to keep in your desk at work I would totally check this out the next again two items are from physicians formula these are the shimmer strip eyeliner trios you guys you guys Ugh. These are actually so much better than some of my higher end eyeliners like I think they're better than my Urban Decay liners. I think they're better than my Smashbox liners. And these are af more affordable and you're getting three liners. I picked mine up in the trio for brown eyes because I have brown eyes. And you get a purple, a brown, and a black. And then I also picked up the trio for green eyes because I wanted this green in here. This like beautiful um, emerald green if you guys can see that. These are so creamy, smooth. If you can do your liner just one-handed and what have you, these are just going to glide along the, the inner um, 
tear duct and they're gonna just glide like there's no tugging there's no pulling um, these are also waterproof and yeah these last all day until I take them off like I have to go in hard with some serious makeup wipes to get these removed so they are super long lasting they're again they're affordable and I actually have backups of these I'm so embarrassed to say that but I have backups of these because they are amazing. Moving into the next item is the Milani Most, or excuse me, the Milani Bold Obsessions Palette. You guys, I have dipped into this guy so many times since trying it on camera with you guys. I just think that the colors are so, so pretty. There we go. They're so, so pretty. Um, you can do so many everyday looks with this, and to me, even though there's like a blue in here, a black, they're not too intense to where you can't get everyday wear out of this. Um, they're so creamy and pigmented, and I'm actually wearing them on my eyes today. It's feeling real peachy, because I'm missing the spring, y'all. So cold here in Illinois. Somebody hit that switch, man. Give me some sun and some heat. So if you guys have not tried any of the Milani eyeshadow palettes, I think that you would really enjoy these if you like those creamy buttery and pigmented shades that are affordable let me say it one more time they're affordable so you can pick these up at Walmart on the Milani website and probably even Amazon I would definitely definitely check them out if you are looking for something new and these could also be dupes for shadow palettes that are more high-end I'm not really gonna get into that um, you could just go on Pinterest and type in Milani eyeshadow palette dupe or what have you and yeah a bunch of really neat stuff will come up and the next item is also from the wet n wild pump collection this is their three-in-one BB cream this is amazing to my dry skin sisters out there. If you guys are looking for something where you have the option to either wear it sheer or build it up to a very high medium coverage, look no further. This is it. It is absolutely amazing. It is so moisturizing. It is long wearing. Wet and Wild is killing it, you guys. And again, you also get a color corrector in here and a highlight, which I kind of feel stupid now because I use peach corrector under my eyes because I have super dark bags under my eyes. And this is actually a peach color corrector. And in that video where I um, was talking about the entire collection that I picked up, I kept saying this is too dark for me. Y'all don't listen to me sometimes. It is not too dark for me. <laughs> it actually works very, very well to hide my under eye circles. I am wearing it today. But yeah, this stuff is absolutely amazing. I urge you to pick it up. And also, they have a pretty decent shade selection. So there's a little something for everybody. Um, pick it up. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. You guys have heard me rave about this several times since picking it up. I can't even say any more about it. This is one of my new favorites of 2019. It has a nice little pump on it. Um, it's a nice coverage. It feels good on the skin. It actually feels like you are not wearing any makeup at all other than a moisturizer. And again, it has pretty good coverage. They have a decent shade range. It's affordable. I can't say any more good about it. I love it. What I did today was I threw in the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And I mixed these two together and I am living. I feel like I have really great coverage on my face today. If you guys saw my video the other day, I'm breaking out really bad from trying all of these products. And these have covered everything. I love them. I love them. This one is a little bit more expensive. But if you are looking for something that is super dewy and radiant, that is, um, I would say this is medium to buildable coverage. I did not get full coverage out of this, but it still has a very high medium coverage where it's going to cover anything like if you have hyperpigmentation or maybe a birthmark or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Y'all, this is going to be gorgeous on your skin. If you have oily skin, I don't know that I would go for something like this. I would probably choose the Infallible just because this one is a radiant dewy finish. And this one to me is more of like that satiny finish where if you have combination skin, you could wear this. If you have oily skin, you could wear this. If you have dry skin, we can all wear this. It's a really, really good. So go check it out. 
The next item that I'm going to discuss is the CoverGirl Outlast Active Setting Spray. This is really, really good. It has like this cooling sensation on your face. It's good to refresh your makeup throughout the day. It's good to prime your skin with. And it's, I mean, you could use it for many different reasons. I think it's amazing. It has a great sprayer on it. And you could just spray your face just like that. It covers your entire face. And I really do feel like this helps my makeup to last longer. Um, in my opinion, this is almost as good as the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And you get 3.4 ounces in this. And again, it's affordable. So if you're looking to try a new setting spray, try it out. The next item that I am going to talk about is actually a skincare item. This is by Global Beauty Care, which you can find sometimes you can find at the Dollar Tree, at Family Dollar, at Dollar General. Generally, I pick up stuff offline on their website um, because they have so many more options. Now, I know that you can find this at dollar stores, but that doesn't mean that it's a bad product or it doesn't work or it's a super cheap product. Again, I buy mine offline via their website and they have so many options, you guys. They've got good creams. Like this one is a collagen cream and it's also great for moisturizing your face and it's affordable. It's affordable skincare. So if I were you, I would jump on over to their website, which I will link in the description box below and check them out. They have a really great facial mask. Like I love their facial mask. They're um, highly saturated and they give you extra product in the packet that you can just kind of add to the mask as you're applying it to your face. I'll show you guys on camera one day. But they have really great facial wipes, moisturizers. If you're looking for affordable skincare, there you go. The next item I am absolutely like obsessed with you guys. I am about to go get me some backups because if they stop making this, I'm going to flip. I'm going to flip. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, and I've been using this since I bought it, like literally daily since I bought it. I don't know what it is because no CoverGirl mascara has ever worked for me this good. First of all, it has this kind of a wand on it. It is actually a bristled brush, and it kind of reminds me of the Better Than Sex Mascara brush and also the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but the formula of this stuff, oh my god. I don't know what it is. It's not too wet. It's not too dry. It just kind of glides through the lashes. And I feel like it gives me that length, that volume. I just, it's everything that I have ever wanted in a mascara. And it's affordable. It's affordable. Can you guys believe it? It's affordable. I can't believe it. I'm shook. Wow, this is going a lot faster than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm still going to do a three-part series. My videos have been super long lately, you guys, and I apologize for that. I just, I get on here, get to rambling about makeup, and I love talking to y'all. The next product is the CoverGirl True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette number 500 in Bloom Babe. You guys, I really have been enjoying this palette. It has a beautiful bronzer in it, which is... For, I would say, lighter skin, but I, this actually does work for me. Um, it also has a very pretty peachy colored highlight in it, which I am living for. Actually wearing it today. And then it also has this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous peach blush that just complements, to me, any skin tone. Also wearing that today. And I have not been able to stop using this palette. The other thing that I love about it is the formula. To me, these are kind of creamy, actually. Um... And in the past, like CoverGirl blushes that I've tried, they have good pigmentation, but you have to build them up. These, I don't have to. Everything is super pigmented in here. You're getting a three-in-one, and to me, the pan sizes are pretty big. And so, I think it's a really good deal, and yeah, I just love it. It lasts all day on me, and I actually kind of want to go pick up their other trio palette like this. If you have it, comment down below. Let me know. How do you like it? Moving on to the next product, y'all, is a lip product. This is the Hemp's Lips Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm. I really, really like this, you guys. I believe I got this in my BoxyCharm. Actually, wait a minute. Reverse that. I believe this came in Ipsy. Correct me if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong. I'm never wrong. So, yeah, this is, I would say... I'm not going to say that this is fully affordable. We all know Hemp's is expensive, but it really does work to soften the lips. Um, I generally put this on before I go to bed or before I'm going to do my makeup. And if you're taking care of your lips um, and doing a lip scrub every now and then, 
it's going to keep your lips super baby smooth and it's not going to be one of those products like you're never going to put a product on your lips that is going to take them from super cracked and like just busted to baby smooth that's just not going to happen you have to exfoliate your lips so if you are doing that products like these are going to work this one is absolutely amazing it tastes good it smells good the formula of it is kind of like this here let me pull up my sleeve it's a little bit different than anything I've ever tried. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's like the perfect consistency. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hold on just a second. Let's try this again. Okay, now you can see it. To me, it's just this perfect consistency. It's kind of thin. Um, it's not glossy. It just kind of sits on the lips. It's a little matte, actually, but the moisturization that it gives off, amazing. The next product... It's from Milani. Let me wipe this off real quick because we can't be staying in my shirt. Next product is from Milani. Again, you guys, this one is not new. This is just a product that is new to me. And this is their translucent banana powder. I have been using this daily to bake under my eyes. And oh my god. I never thought that I would branch away from my CoverGirl powder. And I'm still not going to. She's still my ride or die. I'm going to take her to the grave with me. But this powder to bake under my eyes, it does not dry my under eyes out. It actually makes things look flawless. Like, I feel like it has a blurring effect to it. It really brightens the under eye without darkening it. You know how sometimes you'll use a banana powder and it will, like, alter the color of your um, concealer that you put down there or your foundation or whatever. This doesn't do that. And it lasts all day long. All I do with this is I bake my under eye and then I take my CoverGirl powder and I wipe it away and it's like perfection. I don't know, by the way, if they are discontinuing these or not. You may want to check the Milani website um, or, you know what, I'll check for you guys and list it in the description box below because where I picked mine up, these were on clearance. That always happens. And then I don't know why I buy it because it's on clearance. <laughs> so weird. All right, we are down to two items, you guys, and I cannot believe it. I cannot believe we are already through this video. So the next product is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Full Coverage Concealer. Now, unfortunately, I picked mine up in a shade that was a little bit too light. If you saw that video, then you know the story behind that. Um, I am working on getting this in my correct shade um, because I want to use it to spot conceal because this is truly full coverage. Um, I do enjoy putting this on my under eye. It does give a really brightening effect, and I really like that. And then I also enjoy using this as an eye primer. I used it today because it really makes those colors pop. You do not have to set this with a powder. It dries down really nicely on its own without being too overly matte and, like, crunchy. You know what I mean? You guys, I'm sorry if I'm starting to sound a little nasally. I think this weather is finally starting to kick my ass. Oh yeah, I'm stuffy. <laughs> so the next product that I'm going to talk about is the Maybelline Master Cameo in the shade Yellow. This stuff is super pigmented, so a little bit goes a very long way. But if you are looking for the brightening effect um, and color correcting dark circle under eyes to kind of look more awake, I would say get this. It is so, so good. Let me repeat that one more time. It is so, so good. So, and like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So, you know, in these clicky pens, in my opinion, you don't get a ton of product. But I've had this for a little over a month, actually, and it still feels pretty full. All right, you guys. So, sadly, we are already at the end of the video. Um, as I said in the beginning, I am going to do a three-part series to this video just because this month there were so many products that I truly loved and I am still using, I actually did a full face of most of those items today. So as I'm looking at this huge bin, I would have you guys here for like another hour. So I will see you guys in my next video. If you are new here, what's up? I'm Tosh. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you will subscribe and click the like button and also the bell notification so that you are notified each time I upload a video, which is three times a week on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Also, 
Check back this week for the next episode in this series. Um, that will also be products that I loved and that I am keeping and continuously using. And then episode three is actually going to be the products that I did not like. I have not named the series yet. I'm still working on that. By the time this video goes up, you guys will obviously know what it's called. All right, you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.